So, hi. Today I'm here with uh, our L trailer, the small one. Uh, it has a floor pinto, uh, floor space of 24 square meters. And it has, uh, it's, everything is fully manual. It doesn't have any hydraulic or electric, but still you can expand it with one person and less than in 15 minutes. So that's why I'm today here to show you this, that it can be done and a really uncut video that you can see the process from start to finish and we will blend in a timer here probably here somewhere and and let's start doing it i will try to explain something that i do during that and hope you can follow and hopefully will be less under 15 minutes it's okay let's go three two one start so first of all with our like with every trailer you have to first unhook it engage the parking brake release the security cable and of course the support wheel that takes a little bit of time but that's really like every trailer and it's kind of unavoidable and of course the wheel tries to get always in the wrong position when I'm lowering it I'm trying to hold the wheel as uh, in a driving direction you never know when you need to might move it or push it by hand and if the wheel is in the wrong direction then it's really hard okay I will just move my truck away So next thing I'll do, I'll lower the front wheel a little bit back so that it is already in a more or less level position. Ah, that feels about right. Now I take from the back. Ah. Yeah, take from the back this, this little part. With that, I'm um, extracting those support wheels there are four of those and the idea is that you support it and also touch a little bit level it we have here our leveling uh, yeah gauge 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 whatever is the correct term and now just check it that it's more or less and stabilize it on the bigger system we use a hydraulic system for that actually you can have it also for the smaller trailer the hydraulic one no, but it's a matter of preference price and also usable tow weight or carrying capacity let's say that the small one because it doesn't have any such systems it has a very good carrying capacity of about 1000 kilograms or one ton now to the other side more or less level already so I just have to support it a little bit that's it That's okay. Now just put it that way because I don't need it anymore and start to expand it. First I loosen the toes here, then I have the security cable. It's a little bit of play. Oh, 
sometimes the small things <laughs> take time. And we'll put it here. You will see later it why this is very useful to put it like this. You can see it already. It's loose and it has well-balanced gas springs that help to lift the roof. Those are the sidewalls. They will lock in place with magnets. First this one, and now the other one. Here are again the latches, just loosen them. And on the other side too. And now I just pull this down. And again, the gas brick supports it. So it, I can do it one hand. In the top and bottom corners, I just check that there are special pins that make sure that it locks into the correct place. And now the same thing on the other side. Ah, now it was much quicker. <laughs> corners you see we have reflectors so that it is when it's expanded also the all four corners are visible so that nobody would crash into a trailer because people might not expect it to be a almost six meter wide trailer Now we need to go to the inside and it's quite high, but of course we have a stair. Oh, actually it's not quite high, it's about 600 millimeters or 60 centimeters. But we have this three step stairs that always level themselves also, depending on how the ground is. So it's a very good, very lightweight system. And now we just raise the sidewalls Again, supported with gas strap and just slides into place. And now for the gaskets that they compress so that it gets a nice airtight fit. And the same on the other side. before you compress the gaskets or ceilings. And now the expansion is done. I think it took me about 12 minutes, 30 minutes, but we'll see later how much it took. And as you see, that's the big advantage or difference with this fold-out, we are the fold-out system that all the interior remains usable. So you don't get just an empty box, you can really have fixed insulation, furniture and so on. And like I told before, it has 1000 kilograms of carrying capacity, so you can really load it full with all your equipment and expand it quite easily, especially if you put wheels on it or if you had the fixed locations. And here in the floor we have these fixing rails and they're totally flat. You can see they, you don't yeah, trip on them and can install everything in any place that you want to. Okay, that's it for the moment. So now that we have expanded it, let's pack it all together back in and uh, see how long it takes. So we'll start again the clock and time goes three, two, one, go. So to pack it, you first have to start from the inside. 
you have to loosen the seals that make for an excellent weather protection or weather tightness or air tightness. This side, other one on that side. I'll just pull it down. Comes quite easily. Just have to check that everything stays in the transport correct position. Now the same thing on the other side. Now that's all you can do from the inside, now back to the outside. So like you see, that's uh, everything manually, the, that's the heaviest lift, but still one person can do it. I think the lifting force is about 30 kilograms. That's thanks to the gas struts that support this movement. Those are held in place with magnets, so you don't have to do anything. And this, this is uh, also very convenient to pulling it down, as you otherwise might not reach it. Now it's just a matter of locking those. And in addition, this is the safety cable also, just in case the other two fixing points fail. And now the same thing on the other side. the magnets again work to just give enough fixing force for just the time when you expand or close it. And now our uh, support legs, or the leveling legs, we have for that this hand crank. Just have to crank those enough that you can turn them uh, 90 degrees. It's just a matter of the stairs. The stairs go very easy. You just have to secure them. Close the door. Lock it. 
and now we're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this small demonstration today. I'm also excited to find out the results, how much it actually took to open and expand it. And if you have any further questions or want to know more or want to visit us in Estonia, you're very much welcome. But the contacts you find just down below in the video description. And be sure to check also out our other videos we do military stuff, rescue stuff, and of course the rolling units, uh, interesting videos, surely will enjoy. So have a great day.